Hello everybody, how's it going, how's it doing? Um, I am redoing an old video series I started a while back. It's called The Sully Versus. It's just a boss rush of uh, me beating a bosses from like three different games and then I review them and give my personal opinion on how what I think of the boss, what the design is, how their moveset works. So, uh, But yeah, um, I reset Lies of P as you can see. And uh, we're going to refight the first boss again. So they made a lot of updates to this game. I couldn't tell you what they were, but I can tell there's been a lot of different things changed. But anyway, if you want to see those original, like, first two or three videos I made of the boss rushes, I will put them in a link in the description. So, alright, uh, let's get this party started, huh? I did, I never finish this game so that's why that's another reason why I reset it because I don't remember what the story was or where the heck I was in the first place so this should be interesting because I do remember the first boss and he makes me laugh because there's something he does that I find really funny it, is, is, it looks like Dr. Eggman huh. how did that not hit me Still haven't got the blocking mechanic down at all, as you can see. What? Yeah, this is going very poorly. There we go. I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is what. <laughs> this takes his head off. Yep, yep, there it goes. Gosh darn it. Alright, yeah, that's what I get. Uh, that's what I get for being careless. I need to learn to what I can dodge and what I can block. I, I get death. I, I get. I get that. I play my souls likes. I'm so glad that they leave your ergo at the foot of the boss door instead of you having to run past the boss and you know not worry about losing them. Stop laughing at me. This is going very poorly already. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, that's a parry I was doing. Okay. I'm glad the more you hit something, the you Get him, get him! Alright, fuck yeah, you know, good first boss. I like that. But anyway, as I was saying. Um, if you're out of the pulse cells, your healing thing, um, if you hit 
uh, if you start hitting enemies without getting hit back, you will regain at least one back until you find your nearest stargazer, or which are your uh, bonfires. Anyway, a uh, good first boss. like the design. Really fun. I like how he tears his head off. I, I always found that really humorous and kind of just a charming first boss. Uh, simple moveset. I was just being careless and trying to parry everything because I'm a parry god. So, <laughs> alright. Um, that, that about does it for Liza P. So, uh, let's move on to the next game, huh? Hello. Uh... <laughs> Welcome to Dark Souls 3. Uh, I have so many hours in this game. It was technically my first Dark Souls game. I mean, I did play the first one a long time ago. And then I never replayed it or, vi or beat it until rec very recently, actually. But I, I love it to death. Anyway, my point is, uh, we're, we're, um, we're going to be, uh, you know, beating up the Dark Souls 3 bosses, which I, I know a lot about. Uh, I'm not, doesn't mean I'm good at it. But uh, this is Tidy Whitey. <laughs> this is actually um, an older character I made a video of a long time ago, way before I had, you know, as many subscribers as I did. You know, I'd say around, I don't know, 20. Nice. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. I was just making sure I was recording. But anyway, um, you, I, you can parry Udix here. A very cool design. Right, I gotta... Like, and I've parried him to death before until, you know, he transforms. But which you'll see here in a little while. Gotta get those free shots in. And I screwed that up. He is a super aggressive first boss, too. Just like that. Screw that up. But yeah, you can... Yeah. No. Easily parry this guy if you know what you're doing, but, you know, once... You can't parry him once he goes into this phase. I struggled so much the first time I played this. How did I not get hit by that? Like, at all. I got lucky. Hitless, too. Nice. Oh, yeah. Um, if you have... If you don't have as many hours as in this game as I do, then that boss is actually quite challenging. But, uh, love, love his design. Very cool, unique weapon. I love this glaive. Simple moveset, if... Um, you know, how to parry and whatnot. And then the second phase is also very cool. Unexpected, too. It kind of freaked me out the first time I played it. Um, I should probably showcase the moveset they do, too. You know, besides just bodying them like I did now. So, next boss, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do that, alright? So, alright, on to the next game, okay? Alright, uh, here's our next game. It's, it's Blasphemous. It's the first one. I played this a long time ago before I, res my, before I started my YouTube, and um, I did a boss review on the second game, and I, I never finished the second game, but I did finish the first one. I love this series, so. My chest hurt with regret. Your punishment it's very, uh, sorry, I'm trying to fix the tripod. Oh, it's very, um. Uh, Gothic, Hispanic, Catholic origins. Hmm. I'm just moving around in my chair. Yes. And thus, guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere 
and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace. Sometimes in the form of punishment and corruption. Mm. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. Very disturbing, but I, I kind of like the dark tone of it at the same time. Very unique how they kind of manifest guilt into a physical form or, you know, pain in some way. I was gonna say I do uh, and you know appreciate how they improved on the first one about how instead of just I don't know one weapon there are you know three different ones you can choose from and each of them have its own unique uniqueness to solve a puzzle okay, up there. Right. not yet There's our bonfire. Could be. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> All right. Here's our first boss. Simple yet disturbing. That's all a unique way. Okay, you tried to psych me out. Ow. Oh no! Hey, we're just sitting in the corner at this point. Oh! Keep in mind, I've only ever played this once, but I kind of remember some of it. But that was a, you know, pretty simple first time boss. Um, not a big move pull, but you know, it's a tutorial boss. Disturbing in design, easy to dodge, predictable. So, yeah, typical for your first boss as it should be. cool all right awesome thanks for watching everybody that's that about does it for the boss our return to boss rushes so um appreciate it you guys are awesome y'all have a great day okay later